The Archwell Foundation's Parents Summit marked the Foundation's inaugural in-person event, bearing the name of Meghan and Prince Harry's son. Meghan graced the summit with her typical style, donning an elegant white off-the-shoulder Alara blazer, which carries a price tag of $987. She also showcased her new $4,100 Queen Emerald Cut Cuban Choker, a stunning 14-carat solid gold piece from the Los Angeles-founded jewelry brand Logan Hollowell. This unique choker features a basil-set Colombian emerald. Megan complimented her look with earrings, described as special custom-made pave spear dangle studs, designed by Sarah Hendler. The interesting detail about these earrings is that each was crafted with birthstones representing Megan's firstborn, Archie, and Harry, in accordance with Megan's specific request. There was a brand that criticized Megan, claiming she copied their earrings, particularly the Spix family spy and family earrings dangle drops. These earrings were inspired by a popular Japanese manga, Spix Family, and the collection included thorn princess earrings. Megan's version featured stones as a display of her wealth. Some felt that these were not suitable for a daytime event like World Mental Health Day and deemed them more appropriate for cocktail or evening outings. They found it socially insensitive to wear birthstone jewelry for her living son when meeting with grieving parents, implying a lack of respect and seriousness on her part. Furthermore, the choice to wear earrings symbolizing Archie while neglecting to represent Lily seemed odd, given that she has only two children to remember. The term invisible birthstone was used as a reference to the birthstone for a child who is not physically present, which may be interpreted as a gesture of remembrance and respect. Although Archie's name is more commonly mentioned now, it wasn't always the case when the focus was primarily on Lily, especially during her christening and other significant events. Additionally, Lily's name, Lilibet, was seen as a strategic move with political implications, rather than a name chosen for personal preference. There was also speculation that Meghan's choice of jewelry might be in response to Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, wearing earrings given to her by a mother in memory of her daughter, Izzy, who tragically took her own life. The ongoing promotion of Harry and Meghan as working royals, especially by UK tabloids, seemed to overshadow and outshine the genuine work of the royal family, which could be distressing to the late queen if she were alive to witness it. It's important to remember that Harry and Meghan chose to step away from their UK roles and duties, and the British press sometimes overlooks this fact. This continued promotion of the Sussexes as working royals, while not being part of the official royal setup has led to frustration among some who feel it diminishes the efforts of the broader royal family.